Welcome to Education Lifeline. This is Trishita Paul, and today we will be factoring trinomials using the tic-tac-toe method. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos on factoring, a playlist will be linked in the description below, as well as in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Please check those videos out before watching this one. In our previous three videos on factoring trinomials, we've discussed many ways to factor trinomials, including the AC method and the X method. The tic-tac-toe method is yet another way to factor any kind of trinomial. We recommend that you choose one of these three methods to help you factor all trinomials. Because the tic-tac-toe method may require guess and check, it may not be the preferred method of choice but it's completely up to you on which method is the fastest. Using the same example from our previous two videos, we can draw a tic-tac-toe board, which we can use to help factor our trinomial. After we place each term from the trinomial in the top three spaces, we can use the left and right columns to see what values are factors of the top term. For instance, 4x and x are factors of 4x squared, and 1 and 3 are factors of 3, in fact the only factors. What we can do is we can multiply the left middle value by the bottom right value and place it in our middle box, and we can multiply the x and 1 and place it in the bottom box. Now, if these two values don't add up to the top value, then you have to retry the expression. So we could try something like 4x and x and switch the positions of 3 and 1. That will give us 4x in the middle and 3x on the bottom. 4x and 3x don't add up to 8x. So we must try once again to figure out which value we need to use. We can also factor 4x squared as 2x times 2x. And 3 will still factor out to be 1 and 3. Now if we multiply 2x times 3, we get 6x. If we multiply 2x times 1, we get 2x. And because 6x plus 2x does equal 8x, we can now form the accurate binomials that factor this original expression. We take the values from the first row, particularly the right and left ones, into our first binomial, 2x plus 1. And from this last row, 2x and 3 to get 2x plus 3. Remember that the order of these binomials do not matter. If this video is helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our other videos on Algebra 1 and check the description below for other helpful resources. We include more tips as well as practice problems in the description of every video. Please leave any questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.